Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer. Today we're taking a look at and showing you how to install the Titan Chain Diagonal Alloy Snow Tire Chains on our 2022 Ford F-150. It's going to be a cable style chain good for those light duty conditions. So if that's what you're looking for, let's check out the install. We're going to check out our chains and make sure it's laid out flat. These ones don't typically tangle up like a traditional chain would, so that's great. But we want to take note of these end pieces here. They say tire side on this side. So make sure that when we install it, it's face up. So that'll make contact with the tire. And then this open section here will be where our tire sits. Once we've identified all that, we can just feed it behind like this. Grab that other side and bring it around. It might get kind of bound up on the tire, so just make sure you're keeping an eye on what's caught. And we can bring that opening again, so it wraps around the tire to the front. The first connection we want to make, though, is actually up top and in the back. So we'll grab this end with our free link and the other end with our hook and bring them together. A little tricky, but not too bad. We'll push that back, and up front, we've got these two studs and a plate that it'll catch on. So just bring those two ends together like that. Then our final connection is at the bottom with another stud and catch plate like that. Now at this point, it's not super tight. If we are able to, we can go to that second stud, but this does come with a tensioner. We always recommend having a rubber tensioner anyway, but it's nice that this kit includes it right out of the box. So we can apply this relatively evenly in a star-shaped pattern, going back and forth between the cables and holding it tight together. This is just an added layer of security with the cables to ensure that there's constant tension on the tire. And these can get pretty tough to attach, but that's what we want. There we go. And the last one will go right over here like that. And you can see how much it's drawing that cable in definitely feel snug on the tire. At this point, you want to repeat the process on the other side and drive forward a bit. Drive forward a few times and come out and check on them. Make sure that nothing's settled in too much. If it has, you might consider going to that second stud and just tightening it up a bit. But overall, then you should be good. Like we mentioned before, this is a cable style chain. And you can see with it on the tire how low profile it is. It does have these rollers over top to give it some height, and that'll be good for light duty snow. Not the best for ice because it doesn't really have anything that bites into the ice like you would a V-bar or a square link chain. But if you don't need that, then you don't need to get it. This will be a smoother ride quality too, and the diagonal pattern here will ensure we have a more constant contact from the chain on the road. Again, resulting in a smoother ride quality but also helping with turns. It does come with a bag, which I'll grab. And I will say this bag is nicer than some of the canvas bags that more traditional chains come with. It's got the carrying straps there and the chains will roll up inside. One thing I will say about this though, is that getting them back in is easier said than done. These cables don't like to roll up very tight especially not as tight as they do when they come out of the box. So for me, I'd maybe recommend looking at a plastic tote or something easier to keep them in, or maybe even just upgrading to a traditional chain because those do go back in their containers a bit better, even if the containers they come in aren't as nice. You can still get a good twistling chain that is low profile and less aggressive, or if you need something more aggressive, check out those square link or V-bar options. Thanks for watching.